Hi, welcome to Photoshop 2024. I'm going to show you the basics by following these four tutorials that you will have if you're in Photoshop and you go to the home page, it may be there, or you're going to be clicking on the learn tab here on the left side, and it'll have all the images that uh, I'm working through, and you can do it along with me. So getting to know the app, you'll see this dialog box come up, just hit start tutorial. Now it's going to take you through all the steps, but it doesn't always do the best job. And so that's why I'm going to uh, walk you through it. Now, of course, you could just follow these yourself too. So starting off on the left side, we have all our tools and just realize when you click on different tools, it changes this top uh, bar as well on what you can do. Um, so if, for example, here's a selection tool and you see all these controls different from all the rest. On the right side, we have lots of menus and if for some reason you don't have the same menus, like if I click on properties and you don't see it, then you can go to workspace and choose a different workspace or just look here and you can check different ones. Um, but I already have properties selected, that's why there's a little check mark next to it. So uh, the first thing I want to look at though is right here on the right side is the layers. So the way the layers works is like pieces of paper. I can turn these off using the eyeball and you can see this is the base layer right here. And when I turn on waterfalls, you can actually see it's on top of it. So think of this as pieces of paper on top of each other. Some are cut out in different shapes, but whatever's on the bottom can be easily, uh, you know, uncovered if you turn it on and off. So if I put the waterfall above the giraffe, you can see now it's above the draft and the draft look appears to be behind it instead. Um, but like this one says, I can control this and let's turn on all the layers and I could change, oh, the moon though. So if we, if we look at this moon, we don't really want it on top of the draft. We're going to want that under the draft. And in fact, we're going to want it probably under the waterfall as well. There we go. That looks a lot better. So we're going to hit the next button. It says you can turn them on with the eyeballs, right? And I just showed you that just a minute before we can do it to the planet. We want to do the same ones and that allows us to go to the next one. Uh, now that it's visible, you can change the orders and you can also change the size of it. If you go up here to the uh, selection tool, I have the show transform controls on. You may have to click them on as well and you could change the size of it and move it around as well. But that's that box right there. Make sure you have it checked, okay? Um, we can tr drag the Planet layer below the waterfall as well, which we already did, but you can see it does actually bring that bush to the front instead. All right, and now we can reorder things. Um, change the order of the images, click continue, got it. All right, now let's move the moon closer to the draft and it looks like it's reaching for the moon. So here's that moon right here and we can just drag it down. We can also resize it, like I mentioned, because we have the show transform controls on right here. All right, good. And there we go, that's next. And again, like this tutorial mentions, uh, if it doesn't detect that you clicked a tool, you may have to click off it and click back onto it. Now you'll notice on the left side, sometimes I can't change my tool. You may have to hit enter uh, if you resize something. For example, if I make this moon a little bit larger, there's a check mark up here and I can't always select the next tool or layer. You've got to finish resizing it. By hitting enter, it renders it and makes it uh, clear, but it also allows me to move to the next step. Okay. All right. Second moon in the sky. So we'll use spot healing to make sure we make it disappear. So here's, uh, I want to be on not the, the clouds layer with the stars and we have an extra moon, right? So we could use a spot heal and there's a few different ones. So if you click and hold this, you can see which one's available. The spot heal would work great in this case. So I'm going to turn that on. And I can also change the size of the brush by dropping this down. I could change, make it larger or smaller, and you can change the hardness as well. So we're going to turn the hardness all the way down. So it's a nice fuzzy brush, basically. And I think we're good there. So I'm going to bring this out now. I don't like the way it looks. If I hit caps lock, it turns it into a circle. And that way it's uh, easier to see the size of it. So just hit caps if it's not a circle. And I can click and drag over it like that. And there we go. It looks pretty good. If you didn't like what you did, just hit control Z, that's undo. And really I could probably just make my brush that size by using the brackets right above the plus and minus, those brackets make your brush bigger and smaller as well. And I just click once and it should take it out. You may have to wiggle it around a little bit. There we go. All right, that looks pretty good there. And now we press next. And I believe that's the end of that tutorial here. So. Um, oh, it's uh, the background uh, looks a bit too bright for the twilight scene. So let's use an adjustment layer to darken the sky. Fantastic. So we're going to grab that clouds layer right there and we can go to adjustments right here 
and um, we want to make sure we're on the right layer. And under adjustments, we're going to want to uh, drag the brightness slider. All right. So we can uh, go through here and choose different ones that are like presets, but instead I'm going to drop it down and grab the brightness and I'm going to drag it on top of the clouds and stars here. Or I'm sorry, I just click it once and it does it. So you can see this is attached to this layer right here. And so I can bring the brightness down, for example. Um, they're saying like around 35 looks about right, but you can be a little different than that if you'd like. That looks pretty good there. And hit the next. Adjustment layer also affects the layers below it. So right now it's actually only on the clouds and uh, the clouds one. But if I were to raise this up, it would all affect the moon then and affect the waterfall as well and even the giraffe. Or I could put it at the very top and it would, it would affect all of them. So uh, if you only want it to affect the clouds and stars though, leave it here. And the other thing you can do is you can press the, um, you can click right here and you can press this button right here. And what that means is it only affects the layer below. That's what that little arrow is. And it's super helpful uh, if this layer was not here. If it was up higher, you'd only want it to affect that one layer. And there we have it. Hopefully you know a little bit more about layers. And we will jump to the next tutorial in the next video.